welcome to Winding Down. Today we are joined by Uchev Lintwe Bengu. He's gonna be making something nice for us, performing some magic in the kitchen because that is his arena. But before we get to speak to him or ask him anything about his journey in cooking, please welcome my lovely, gorgeous, stunning co-host, Masangeli Fu. Mama, why you brace me up so much? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Masam Kelepuka, and you are going to have a phenomenal episode. Good food! I know, right? Yeah. So we cannot wait to see what you're going to make for us today. He's already chomping. We already? haven't said anything. Well, you guys are chopping. honest. I mean, I'm, I, I feel at home. Why are you chomping? Because he gave yeah. me a knife for boiling oh, some food. Oh, but what? So I just feel at home. I have to. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, yeah. okay. Before you chop, let's pour mm -hmm. some wine. Tradition time. All right, yes. It's winding down. Yes. Okay, I'll do the other one. Please do the other oh, one. Okay. So, you having Chardonnay? <laughs> Tell me the name Winding Down. How it came about. Yeah, how did it come about? It's because how the show started. So people were drinking and chilling together and then we're things started happening. Okay. And then they were like, this could be a show. Okay. We could chill and drink one and then have conversations. And then that is how Winding Down came about. I love it. Yes. I love it. And I, lo I love how today we're in the kitchen because the best conversations happen around the kitchen. Mm. Okay, but we, we haven't cheers, guys. Yes, yes, here we go. Okay, yes. cheers. 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 Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I don't like how Zama, did you pour enough? Okay, bring. <laughs> She's always I'm complaining. Like, no, Lindsay, Lindsay. She's always oh. complaining Is about that her thing, it. It's her thing. It's like, all the more. time. Some more. <laughs> All the time, <laughs> all the time. My son, really don't worry. Okay, should I just fill it up to here? Okay, I know. No, that's not how it's done. You are saying. Extra. Hey, hey, Usain. But you also know you want that. Exactly. Much. Let's be honest. Usain. No, Usain, Flana. Usain, Flana. La la la. Thank, Thank you for you. having me, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for honoring our invite. Yeah. Sure, of course. <laughs> yeah, so you've had quite an extensive journey in cooking, in mm -hmm. the chef industry. What is it called? Chef, you know, what, what's the name? What's the correct um, term for culinary. it? Cal Ooh, culinary. Cal Culinary. The culinary That's industry the or culinary arts. Uh, but uh, one of the sub tiers is being a chef, or okay. it's being a food stylist, mm. or it's being a, a food stylist. Uh, yes. Those who that do those magazines yeah, things exactly, and decorate exactly. food. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So I even the guys that. like so I shoot TV shows. Um, just doing the show is work in itself. So I have yeah. a food stylist who comes through and, and makes sure it slides properly mm, with me and helps me with the, the recipes. Colors, yeah, exactly. and everything. Like a CEO has. A managing director and the COO Whoa. and then 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 also the chef industry so you don't work with different alone. no never oh, wow. so all those pretty pictures you guys see like on social it's media for the food yeah. it has been helped by somebody else mm. you know mm. majority of all the really pretty big ones there's a team behind it oh mm. that's good tell yeah. us about you and your yeah. journey yeah me and my journey yeah. um I got into food professionally I think at about twenty five. Okay. So good, ten years ago. Yeah. Um. I. I, I ten years ago. Yeah. Twenty five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're doing a match, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like. Very <laughs> yeah. Um, and you look twenty five. That's, that's very old. So like. No, but sorry. How old are you now? I'm that's 25. A, that's why I'm like. Uh, who shall we? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but we can just drink to that. We can just drink. No, we can just drink to that. I'll take the compliment. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in investments before that, and I started as in Katele. Investment. Of, yeah. Okay. In Katele of climbing the corporate ladder. I actually uh, wanted to do something with my hands, and I really loved to cook before that. So I was living in Cape Town. I resigned from my job, really cushy job. Good paying um, job. Good paying yeah. job. Yeah. You know, um, in res, on a wine estate, I studied food. I lived there for two and a half years. And I just like took myself away from one whole world and I immersed myself a like different in food. To you. Wow. Yeah. Totally different from corporate yeah. to cooking. Yeah. 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 And and what inspired you to actually go that route of being a chef? 
I, I was tired. So who inspired you? Okay, that's a good question. Both of them. Mm. I was inspired, or the, the urge came from I could see where my life was going. Mm-hmm. You know, like, this sounds a bit weird, but like I, I could see if I do this right and I study here and I get an MBA and I do this, I can see the ladder, the, the step ladders I need to climb. Yeah. And I kind of got bored before it I even like got, it, got a thing. You, yeah. And I wanted to do something that, that was really challenging to me. So yeah. I remember my father was still alive and it was his 70 something birthday. And we says like in God team, it jumbly and I'm cool. He's so happy. It's mm. grandkids with it, it's great grandkids with it. And I come from a very big family. I've got mm. twenty-one siblings. I listen, I heard you wait, I heard you say that you come so, from a polygamous. Gum nandi, gum nandi, yeah. There's my siblings there, my dad's just chilling there and he's like, Yo, now I feel like a man. Mm. Now I feel wealthy. And I was like, bro, what's going on? Like, I want this happiness, but I want it now. And I was about twenty-four at the time. What's he get Yazin Gumele we get everything on a time? The color red, if you don't like it, don't wear it anymore. Mm. The person you're seeing, don't see them anymore. It, Whatever, mm. just go after the things that mm. make you happy. Imali is a afterwards. Just go for that and go for gold. And that for me meant leaving where I was at and where I was making money and becoming a student with other school leavers about 18, 18 25. Mm. And just like literally immersing myself in something I really loved. And okay. then fast forward three, four, five, ten years later, I cannot look back. Oh. Like, okay, right, can we nandy. talk while we're yes. doing something? Yes, we can. Because we time can. is going. Okay, cool. Let's go. Right, I wanna, I wanna, can we help you with anything? Yes, you can, actually. Um, yes. Um, what can you do? I don't want to chop onions, just saying. Okay, so do you want to tell me what you want to do right now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we, get, can we get another ball? Another, another ball. ball. Okay. And then... to take out I can get a spoon like that Yeah Okay, okay cool. Please so give me that bowl myself You can okay, my You can help us I'm going to make guacamole Okay Okay, so that you can help with that Just guy Just scoop it out okay. Just scoop it up okay. and so then mash it up Into a different bowl Into a different bowl What okay. can you do? Yes boom, 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 boom. Can you <laughs> chop? Yeah, sure. Are you sure? I don't mind. I'm going to hand this over to you. So this is actually what a real chef does. Okay. Yes. Okay, (laughs) They have have the bigger plan and they just delegate very, very well. Just do, okay. All right. Muga, muga, man. You want to pick an egg? I'm not really good in the kitchen, so what about Okay, no, 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 no. no. You're still using the wrong knife, my dear. The worst knife ever. (laughs) So what is this knife called? So this is like a normal kitchen knife. Okay. Okay, uh, so you want to use a very super knife, like a super sharp knife or a big big heavy base knife like I want any weight okay. okay and then we want we want small oh, okay okay and then I can just go yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay so okay. now I'm gonna go sideways just oh one word. I've never done that wait and, me not and then there's I wanna end know. Get okay. I wanna and know one, one more. thing okay yes. you said that are you left handed I am oh, yes that's what I was like that is so weird <laughs> I am left-handed. Okay, so now do I just leave it like this? So, uh, or smash it? you can smash it up for us, please. Okay, because that's what we do. smash it up for us. And then, we just smash. So then, up until the end. So then these small onions are going to go a inside fork? here. Do you want a fork? I, yeah, I think like a fork does better smashing than this. I learned something new, guys. What did you learn? What did you learn? Maybe I should have cut <laughs> onions to learn something new, what did you too. Learn? Okay, what did you so learn? I want to know. Oh, okay. Yes. I want to know because you know, growing up in 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 in, in African homes, yes. you know, there's always different chores that are to need to be. Yeah. So as someone, How boring is that? exactly. <laughs> so as someone who has always been keen or passionate about cooking, mm-hmm. did you find it difficult for you to navigate your passion given those uh, rules at home? Uh, uh, so what are you doing in the pot or what are you doing trying to achieve this? Because yeah. So yeah. how did you navigate that? or nurture that it was easy for me because the kaya we have like we have it all mm-hmm. so like uh, for us working a store local over it, it's not check like, was very normal what's what kind of it all like like shops like i'm gonna take away oh yes. okay i yes. tuck shop it's tuck shops take away uh, so, 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 okay. so it, was, right. it was very easy for me to say mm. actually i lie it wasn't easy because i actually studied i didn't tell my dad mm. Although he was the one that inspired me to do yeah, it, I didn't tell him. Because he was a super businessman, so I thought, yo, if I tell this guy I'm going to leave, who buy a super businessman, a great man investment, it's no pay. And on graduation day, I was like, ma, 
there's something wrong. I need to like, you know, do something. What's yeah. You? But I need to phone dad. Okay. So, okay, that's a phone phone. Mm -hmm. uh, phone us, Papa. I, 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 he's Twana. Oh, I'm Twana as well. Because Papa, eh, when I'm talking about like, go try Leon. I'm a king man. And because Papa, eh, so if it's a school, I'm mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's good. My school is a chef. I'm oh, okay. <laughs> And then he goes, um, you know, my boy, I'm actually super proud of you. Ooh. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, but first, you kept a secret from me for such a long time. It must mean you really want this. And he mm, also completed it. Yeah. And secondly, people got to like eat. So I know you'll always make money. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so f for me, I thought he might see it the way that you're asking me. Yes, but in actual exactly. fact, he took it in a way forth further. And he was like, if there's one career where you always make money, no matter what depression the country's mm. going through, it'll be with food. That's good. So for me, it just gave me so much more. Like, I like, um, yeah, just, yeah, just yeah, carry on. Yeah, yeah, I could yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah. What's going on? Do you ever know what it is? Perfect. Yeah, we want a super thing. Yeah. So you want to chop this up. This is little pot here. Actually, not too much. Chop that guy up. And that's going to go inside. This guy up. This okay. Guy. And then you're going to put it here. Yeah. Okay. What else can I do? Um, for now. Okay, now. So we're going to have an open sandwich, you asked for. Yes. yes. Okay, so bacon, chicken, no chicken. Check. Yeah, we. You work your chicken, yeah, Don't chicken. Yes, we yes. don't know. I, I love chicken, guys. Okay, chicken. I see how so in your it. sandwich as well. Yeah. yeah is it All possible? Right. You can, yes, you can you make can it know. anyhow. Though. You see the things with food, you can do Anything. make food however you like. It's is all it? up, it's all up to your palate. Okay. I, I just wanna know what has been your proudest memories because I feel like you've already explained how your parents reacted to you um, actually going into the industry of being a chef. Mm -hmm. So now I just wanna know um, In your journey. Yes, as, in your journey, what has been your proudest, proudest moment ever? I think it would probably be that I won't lie. I, like I've been blessed with quite a a highlight filled um, mm, journey you've or had like, a lot of highlights. like so like so far. Yeah. But I think for me, cause I'm a storyteller. I'm a creative. Um, when I started African Plate and I saw it go from YouTube, yeah, title to not just like a South African broadcaster, but yeah. an international broadcaster, mm. and then all the way back to like in Zanzibar and across Africa, Ooh. and my show, and now yeah. it's in nine different countries. A show oh, that wow, I birthed. Nice. Uh, on my couch, super depressed, mm. in Cape Town, thinking like, what did I do? I left my job and I'm studying. A good paying job. Uh, yeah. And now I'm like 27, I'm and earning like 2,000 rand. What did I do? Yeah, and, you know? like an and then intern. right then, yeah. I was only an intern. I think it was only like three and a half grand. Like yeah, an intern. Yeah. Working the crappiest shifts ever. Mm. And then I just thought, yes, and actually, I, I need more people. We, we need more people to inspire us in television. And more people that look like you and I. Okay. And then yeah. the people that I knew that looked like you and I were all from overseas or Ainsley Whitey. Yeah. Like, I, I, I there that, that was no representation right exactly. there. Exactly. So oh. for me, I was like, there needs to be an African voice speaking about African stories, African food stories mm. rather. Um, and it has to be a chef. And I want to be that person. So I never ever want to strive to be the best cordon bleu or the best man man. No, I just want to be able to. Uh, understand what, what's happening within food and be the, the vessel or, or the vocal vessel yeah. of it. Huh? Mm. To transmit because now, because compared to like seven years back, people are now making Mokhodu fashionable. People are making... Everything is fashionable. Uh, Mokhodu Wednesday. And, and, Mokhodu and, Thursday. And, which is great. Yeah, it's Mokhodu great. Monday. Actually. It's because we started becoming more alerted to our own food. True. Yeah. You know, just like we're being alerted to our own fashion. Yeah. That's why now our own fashion is expensive as Louis Vuitton exactly. or you know what I mean or Bibles, we have all whatever. These you know what I mean? Brands why isn't doing African great. food the same? Because the Americans when they come here, they love Magodu. Mm. Yeah. You know? Magodu. <laughs> <laughs> they love Magodu. Yes, yeah, yeah. they love Magodu. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They come here and they tell you, oh, Pap, love it. Even when like, you put a bit of cream sauce in pap, you're like, hey, boy, you pop in the cream, cream sauce. sauce. But like, they, they love it so much, yeah. they've made it their own. Mm. You know, and I feel like as as Africans, especially South Africans, because our food culture is so like this Indian, diverse. This, so diverse yeah. and so multi, yeah. we don't actually have a love for our own. Mm. But don't you think we do now? We're starting to. Okay. Yeah. We're starting to because now we have more voices, like I'm saying, um, or her speaking about this myself and other chefs and mm -hmm. other sure. food bloggers, you mm. know, because why? We start to speak about it, so it's yeah. okay to to respect Mohodu and to yeah. say it's not Mohodu, it's Mohodu. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, so when you're cooking chicken, you want really high heat, or cooking any nyama, you want high, you want high, high heat. High heat. Shish. So whenever you're gonna see a meat, you want like high heat. Yeah. You don't want. Yeah. yeah. Learning professional yeah. terms yeah, yeah. today. Well, not butter. Your pan needs to be hot. <laughs> yeah. 
，那是负责负责负责，要拍你死去。Yeah, exactly. Because、yeah, exactly. um, it's a struggle to even fry an egg. If you're gonna fry an then egg, then you need to be very careful with your heat. Heat, exactly. Yeah, I think very, you know, when you put on three or between three and four, then、yeah. you can have a, a proper cooked egg. Also, na kono three wa ko awo nung three wa. Exactly. Yeah, it depends. What is struggle to done? Okay. I love the sound of that already. It might have been on a bit too long. Yeah, and you should have done it. It's a simple thing, but but you see,、uh, cooking is all about understanding the level of heat, the product, and the vessel you're cooking it in.、Mm. So like now, oh, it's too hot. Let me cool down the pan. Oh, so, so yeah. Or you can move it to the, the side because I understand that the product I'm cooking, yes, likes heat, but if I cook for too long, then it's just gonna get dry. So then, how do you ensure? So now, are you non-stick or not? What about stick? So how do you ensure that it gets okay? Fine, no problem. Inale al teflon lemyam. Hmm. Yeah, fry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I'll bring a spoon on and hold on. Are you guys good? We good.、Yeah. Are you、All、good?、Right. Just can't wait to taste what you make. This one here is still a bit frozen, so I'm gonna leave it. Oh,、uh, yeah. can we defrost the microwave? Is that a thing? Talk about that. Okay, so I don't own the microwave. Okay, okay. I'm like, I do own the microwave now. Microwave. We own the microwave, but、um, it's, I've never owned a microwave. Why? Yeah. So how do you warm your food? If、how、I need any, or in the oven. But that takes time. Yeah, but then it doesn't also kill the food like a microwave does. You wanna always retain the manzi and the juzo and the mashugela of the actual ingredients. Okay. Because that's the beauty of it, and roasting is the best way to do that. Oh my man, guys, I'm so lazy. Sometimes I just take it and I just throw it. You pay a whole lot. It's easy for me, and it's fine. Okay, don't forget that. We obviously need tips. Half of this into here, please. Half, my son. Half. Half. The mom said no. No. After what you did to that onion. No, man. Ah, damn. I think this is fine. That's fine. And then a sprinkling of some crushed chilies. Okay. Please. Okay. Just like a sprinkling. Okay, we can play a game. We actually have a game. What's a game we play? We have a game. Yeah, sure. Let's play a game while you you're supposed to be doing your thing. Yeah, that's fine. Add a bit more than that, fine. A bit more. Yeah. Okay, I want to get this in. So you basically you tell me it's to sear. Ah, that's perfect. To sear the meat, but how do you make sure it's it's thoroughly cooked inside? Ah, so like now, it could be a little bit higher this guy actually. Ah, so to sear, you create some color. You want that like that golden brown on the outside. Yes. And then um, how to make sure it's cooked inside? Inside. So you steam it. Mhm. You vile. Because it's a chicken breast. Okay. You don't want to cook too like uh dry. Right. We're gonna retain that moisture. moisture. So、okay. rather, I just take it off the heat and give vale or something,、uh -huh. and allow it to just almost steam inside.、Oh. After I've created my、that、golden, allows it to cook inside. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Because that's always the trick. Exactly. Oh yeah, but it's okay. In your mum, if I get it, I'm not even over. Even like when you're making a stew,、yeah. always seal the meat to pan. To create that nice golden brown in a pan. They always do the thing when they put the foil in, and then、uh -huh. they wrap it up. Yeah. That's what we're going to do that now. Okay. We're going to do that now. Retaining the moisture. Let's do the game. I'm going to drink just now. So I'm going to make the bacon in the same pan. In the same pan, just, just to get the same juices. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, juice. Um, Sam. So you guys want to play a game with me? Yes. yes I want to hear this game. <laughs> I want to see this game. No, it's nothing hectic. Just question. Uh huh.、Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna start. So, describe yourself in three words. Describe myself in three words. Three words.、Um, Kind, silly. Silly. Ha!、Uh, okay. Why do you agree with that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like silly, interesting.、Um, kind, silly, and energetic. And it's definitely energetic. Yeah. Okay. If you have to choose between going naked、yeah. or having your thoughts appear in the thoughts bubbles above your head, ah. I want to read. Which one would you choose? Ah, no thoughts bubbles. I rather go naked. Naked. <laughs> yeah, the thoughts bubbles are dangerous. Unbutton your shirt. Ah! 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 
Please do it right now, right here. You didn't say that you dared to come okay. on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you could ask God one question, what would it be? Just one. Oh man, you're gonna make me sad. Okay, no sad, no, no sad no. stuff. If no, you can ask, ask God, God, sad stuff. You can we can handle the sad stuff. Yeah. Uh, Tell us. If I can ask God one question. One question. Yeah. Why, why do, do they you have take to, your dad? Why do the good ones have to go? Oh, that's part of your dad. I know that's not. Yeah, mm-hmm. I saw that. Okay, yeah. who is your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush? Yeah. <laughs> oh, tell us, tell us, tell us. Tell us. Uh, can I tell you the honest truth? Yeah. yeah. I'm dating my celebrity crush. Oh, <laughs> oh no, Liz, I'm oh. taking 10 by us. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the those are no no. no. It's a current situation, so oh, it's been God. six years now. So. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, that's that's dope. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. No, if you just I'm... go to my Instagram, you'll see. Is it? Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. No, but I, I think you didn't get the hint. Martha, we've been stalking him, but clearly. Yeah, we did not see any bay, my bay, or my love. You stalking him? Six stalking yeah, like two like weeks tag. ago, yeah. like two weeks ago, then you went. Eh, eh, then get uncal and get an uncal villa like tag. Oh, that's why. Because that's a baby, I did it. <laughs> okay, let's move. Yeah. I'm gonna hit the question. You guys okay. are silly. Oh no, it's my. What is the weirdest place you've had sex at? Um, at Stutterfords, in Stutterfords, in the changing rooms. Oh, okay. Yes. That's weird. <laughs> Changing room. No, but how fast was that? No, wait. How I'm fast? Gonna, wait, I'm gonna room. think about these questions first. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oh, I think I answered too honestly too quickly. I answered too honestly too quickly. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's Thank easy. you. What was the last thing you searched on your phone? Mm. I don't know. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah. Ah. Check. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see. Please show us. No, please show us. What is that? Uh, alcohol, bands, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, a chefy question. A chefy after, question, yes. Yeah, a chefy question. So after you've dropped a piece of food, what's the longest time you've left it on the ground and then ate it? But do you pick uh, it up and do you drop it and eat it from the ground? I mean, I We have, all do it, thank you I for have, honesty. I'm human. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm not going to let that food go to waste. I'm not going to let a good steak go to waste. Exactly. You know? Just because it fell. Yeah, I mean, especially when you're camping as well, when you're out in the woods, the yeah. falls, wash it off. Um, so yeah. what is but, it? But, 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 like I said, depends where I am. At work, yeah. no. Why? Why not? Because work? I would do that for myself, eating the food for myself. Yeah. The guest, the other Yeah, they'll difference. be like, yeah. Okay. Because because I've never worked in a place where that's, mm. where that's okay. Like mm. Even my team was not I work. Maybe we'll make another one. Yeah, And then true. when you're at camp, how many no, people? Ah, okay. no, 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 Mm. Yeah. Chill down, it's okay. And not and not everyone knows what the hell is going on. Exactly. Oh, and thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. No, I promise you, not everyone Nobody knows what knows. the hell is going on. Even the adult. Life is a mystery. And I promise yeah. you, I am an adult. You are. Like, I understand? Yeah. And mm. I don't even know what the hell is going on, but I'm just enjoying it and I'm doing it as purely as I can. Mm. And I'm doing it with the people that I care about the most. Yeah. And yeah. Just but chill. That's what I tell myself. That, that's, that's very good. That's Thank you. Good advice. Chill that's out. Good. Chill yeah, out. Yeah, that's yes. what I tell myself. Yeah. Chill out. Last question. Yeah. What is your signature dance, dance move? move. <laughs> Do it. Don't tell us. Do it. Must not have and demand it and say, let's get it done. What's your signature dance move? What's your signature dance move? 
Can we just move? Can we have some music the on? The only reason why I know it's such a dance move is because my sisters were calling me the other day and then they were at a party. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, Lindsay, you should if be you here. Yeah. You should be here. If you're here. And then the wine jumped up and I was like, ah, can they call me Bingo, okay? Okay. But I hope Bingo is here. I hope Bingo is here. Ah! So the trending uh, dance move right now. It's trending. But the thing is, the thing is, I can't dance, right? Okay. So every time there's a dance move that happens, mm. really you fool. She's a horrible, horrible dancer. Lisa, horrible dancer. Try this, but like, I don't yeah. know how you should. <laughs> no, actually, I'm embarrassed. Let me sit down. Let me sit down. I can't even laugh. I mean, but bad dancers can't laugh at other bad dancers. Yeah. It's, it's part of our code. Okay. Yeah, we can't yeah, laugh at other. Yeah, so how far? Without food. Yeah, uh, our food. Our chicken's done, our bacon's done. I'm just literally just doing all the little small little things like guacamole. So it's gonna be cinqua, two cinquas open, some mm. bacon, some guacamole, uh, some chicken slices, and a little bit of pepper for sweetness on top. And then do you guys want cheese? Are you guys cheese people? Yeah, cheese is everything. Okay, we do um, cheese to our game. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Can you cheers to that? Yeah. Okay, Thank cheers you for the again. honesty. So we just cheers for everything. We, yeah. we, okay. we are winding down. <laughs> yeah. We cheers to everything. That's like, I, I kind of figured out this thing. Everything we cheers to. I'm about to put salt and I cheers everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, are you serious? We are still chilling with Uchef Lin Sweping. He's been such a vibe. He's oh, been a vibe. He's been a vibe. was Pegel. But before we speak about that, Masangele, what's your view? What's your take? Listen, all I want to do is actually <laughs> taste this food. Yeah. Please. Tell us what do you have for just, us? Yes, exactly. What, what, what did you make? And then we can just please taste. Um, I think we'll call it a chicken bacon. A chicken bacon. Uh, it's supposed to be an open sandwich, okay. yeah. but it's a loaded sandwich. Mm, loaded so you sandwich. cannot, yeah, you okay. have to. Yeah. Ooh, looks so delicious. So you've got guacamole, there's bacon on there, there's some chicken, some pan fried chicken. Where's the guacamole? I've been wanting At the bottom. Guacamole. Guacamole. Yeah. Guacamole. So there's a gentleman, guacamole. Wait, let's have Lena ikumaranjan. Guacamole. 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 Yeah, my friend. So can we taste? Go for it, yeah. Let's go for it, Zama. I mean, I'm going to eat the kaya low, or no sugar, no one salt, and say, eat the kaya face. Mmm, 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 I love it. Mmm, 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 Okay, so you were just explaining that mm. you you felt like there was a, a certain template or blueprint that your father left for you that you couldn't really relate to in your own personal lives. Mm. Just tell us about that. Yo, uh, Dr. mustn't cry, Dr. must provide all the time, but I cannot speak about when they cannot provide because they need to protect the family, Dr. Yeah. needs to be straight, Dr. Ooh, um, ooh, ooh. Dr. just needs to be a rock, basically and a rock. The rock. Yeah. 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 But then the funny part is society then also tells us we choose a partner who softens that. Mm. Whoa. Unpack you know? that. Well, at least the balance of life is you can't have two hard rocks living together. Exactly. You need one yeah, soft yeah. and one, you know, yeah, just yeah. Yeah. The whole thing of you must be his Ying peace of mind. Mm. You must be his safe place. You know? And then coming from a very hard rock yeah. uh, perspective then you expected once you get a partner rock, to just one, now think about soft. it one one father 14 different uh, women over the space of like 40 years uh 21 children yeah. you know Lens, that is that is rock like, that foundation. is where you come yeah. from yeah. yeah 14 wives mm. 21, 21 children. Mm. No, let the wives. Mm, 14. In what era did your father live in? Uh, he passed on at 84 and he had his first child, I think about probably in his 30s. So my, my eldest sibling, my, my sister, Una, she's in her mid 60s. And then my youngest sibling is, she is about she's in her 13. 60s. Yeah, so about 13 or 12, I think. I don't think high school got, Yeah, she's still I think, a young yeah, one. I think high school. So that's that's the age variance between me and my siblings. Now I'm smack bang in the middle oh, of all okay. of that. Yeah. Um, and and we seem to from like all around the country, all around like, like Bluefontein, Johannesburg, 
Pretoria, yeah. most of them here mm. like Zulu. Yeah, yeah. When I put it from Stenga to Lazi, it's a clever you know? Growing up in that in that environment of 14 different partners, did you ever get a chance to have a conversation with your father to just take you through that with, as as a man? man? Yeah. As it like give me perspective, Dad, make me understand as your to life. Why him. Yes, why yeah. 14 wives and what led him to get 14 wives. Right, yeah. Because I'm sure would you have a, a whole different perspective to your own life. Ah, uh, he could. Mm. He could afford mm. to. Yeah, he could. And, and you always mm. said, "Man, I can never ever try this life unless you meet the pageant." Yeah, mm. no, that, that's good advice. Yeah, that, that's exactly. Unless you step like the pageant, you know, it's so exactly. So he had the yeah. financial muscles for it. I yeah. mean, he had fourteen women. Exactly. He, I mean, and twenty-one kids. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking yeah. about yeah. speaking yeah. about about his reasons to to have this this children and the names and you did highlight on the patriarchal society that we have. I feel like it was a very patriarchal thing for him to do. Yeah. Patriarchal, um, what do I want to say? Reasoning behind it. Mm. Yes, it was very patriarchal. I mean, if it, back in the days as well, you always seen the more the more cows you had, the more women, the more yeah, the more women. Have... No, no, not the more, mm. no, not the more women. Yeah, the more you could grow your family, yes. which is having more women and and, and, and and children, was how wealthy you are. Mm. Okay. So it was never about like ah, oh, It was like, a man who was or and you can take care yes. of these many children. Yes. So, so it was so a man who was and that's super Indoor. patriarchal. Super. It leaves no room everything. for exactly. to be like I'm going to be a shipping queen. I'm mm. only no, you just mm. third wife. You're sharp. You're there. Ulapo. You know, which is why now the narrative is kind of and change on like on on on, on polygamy. We were seeing like polygamists allowing their wives to have some sort of a, 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 a spoken word within the family yes, and the society. Yes. How much business they have, how much food they were. Before it wasn't like that. It was, it it was strictly to the police that, okay, that, you, you are here because of me. Yeah. Not yes. a negative way, housewife, but you see, Kulisa is small, it's the kind. Yeah. 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 So the biggest job is to bring up these five children and this household. No. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. now, these days, Mom Tim has got an MBA. Exactly. She's not trying to like look after five kids. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. She doesn't so mind her. being a third wife. But she's trying to also succeed. Exactly. Her she's trying to buy her own bins. Mm. You know, whereas before mm. was Ubaba or, or Sakaya would buy the bins for you for or give you the whatever yes. or give, build you a castle. Yeah. But yeah. now the, the new age of polygamy is very like it's very coloured and it has a fabric of today's society. Mm. So speaking of today's society, 21st century mm. and whatnot. So I heard you uh, speaking of Guzi Indoda uh, must be straight according to your father. Yeah. So what do you have to say about Guzi Indoda must be straight? Uh, are you probably against that or? Indoda, we born like a Zenzo. That of course was more invested. What? No. Who I take to your bed? What is it going to do with you mm. or the next person? Because mm. that's literally mm. what uh, what sexuality is about. Yeah. It's who I take to your bed. Mm. Which, and love is love is a feeling, you know, it goes and flows, and yeah. there's, there's no face to a feeling. None yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. There's no face to a that's feeling. Deep. I, woo, that's deep, actually. What? That, what you just <clears> said now is very profound. Love is a feeling, and there's no face to a feeling. Mm. Bring sure. it back to your point of straightness or whatever. Yeah, I'm going yeah, back to it. Exactly. I love you. Yes, so, 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 yeah, faith on it. Exactly. exactly. So, so, going back to that answering, I said, like, when I was like, I was like, what do you do? When I, as a straight man, you exactly. Mm. Do you take care of the things that you get you. taken care of? Mm. Do you take care of yourself? Do you and 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 yeah, you're a man. Okay, what would you say is a true definition of a man, or would you feel in like, your perspective? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a true definition. If I can give us one definition, um, if you know how to take care of a woman, you're mm. a man. Because if you know how to respect and take care of a woman. Just like you can take care of your so rather if you know and take care of your mother. Yes, that was yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly. Your mother. I knew you were gonna go yeah. there. That's actually what I wanted to go yeah. to and yeah. your mother. Yeah. Your mother. If yeah, you can, so if you can do that, then you're a man. So basically mm. you're saying if Uchitumako and Jena Lumutus Fazano Nai feel ready to melt the Jungle Mawa. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then there's always this perspective. We will see about to best Lisa, about Kayla, yo. Yeah. About to best Lisa. About the like, what? Into fashion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in most cases, they are basically gay. Over here in in. When how does that make you feel? Like, is do you feel like it's only so or to certain people who can jalo or 
you know? Do you know what the funny thing? You know the funny thing is about that? That's what that nail pega or to do like home chores yes. is in it's only in societies where English have come in and colonized. And now I'm getting deep now, and I'll tell you why I'm getting deep. Um for me, I feel like the, the, the notion of certain jobs are for certain genders or a specific gender and this job is for another gender it comes from a system of trying to control mm. and colonization mm. because uh if you look at india if you look at africa uh if you look at south america um if you look at those countries jobs were shared the only time when you had hunter gather where the men go out was like it has 20 centuries ago or whatever mm, it's called yes. about, but then once society has, as we know it, especially in Africa, like Malawian men cook in Malawi. Mm. And I've traveled to Africa. Like Egyptian men spend time with their wives, uh, mulling nuts and, 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 and. Yeah. So I feel like South Africa, because we were colonized and they come from a very men go out and work. And that's where the, that all came from. Men mm. go out and work and da, 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 da. So now to, we actually adapt to a certain type of living and some yeah, type of way. So in the past like thousand years, we've been living like that. Whereas before it was women were hailed. Women were like, women were the, the queens within society. Mm, mm. Do you know what I mean? Like if, if you can get close to women and respect women, you like were seen as cleaner and, and better. Yeah. You know, cause why women gave birth. Mm. So they didn't do much. Mm. Women never used to do as much as they do now. Yeah. I'm being, st especially in, in, especially in Africa, because their biggest job was being able to bring, bring birth. birth exactly. mm. So men used to do all that wife, stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Men would do all that stuff. Mm. You know, sure. the reason why to our, uh, the women are the ones that are grinding corn, corn came with, uh, with white people like, like uh, a thousand years ago. There was mm. never corn in Africa Yeah. for women to be grinding the corn and making pop. No, there was never pop. Mm. Women were taking care of children and that was their biggest job is taking care of a family. It wasn't demeaning them. It was just, just, yeah. they, were, they were held like that. Men shopped. Shop. Oh, yeah, they shop. They went to kill the animals. Yeah, yeah. Men shopped, they Hunted. cooked, they bribed, yeah. they did everything. So earlier on, mm. we, we spoke about uh, the emotional side of men and how it is always um, oppressed in, in many spaces. So I want to ask you, in your personal life as a man, how do you ensure that you show up uh, in your emotional authenticity um, and not live up to the standard of you have to be a rock by a virtue of being a man. So what, what are some of the things that you do to ensure that you are healthy emotionally, you are alive emotionally, you're not oppressed in I, your personal life? I try my best to practice what I want to see in the world on my nephews and my little brothers. Mm. Yeah, because mm. whenever they ask me questions or whenever we relate, um, I, questions I, about manhood. About manhood. Or about life um, in general. Yeah, but life mm. in general, mm. I always try to be present in answering them. Me my pendula, my pendula is also good. See, if you na na ba pum ba ha ba ba yo funda, kuta if you ba ni ani playing field on the understanding. You go see, mo ngakaba ngale na go right, mo ngakaba ngale na go right. Ogwa ko o ngakaba ngale. That's why you can be safe in whatever you feel, because mm. it starts from at home. Yeah, it starts true. from what you see, what true. you hear. Mm, it starts from exactly. dads, uncles, and friends are mm. in a fry, making yeah. fun about something. Yes, how, what they that, model and that, for you. What they model mm. for you, and that puts mm. it like an image for you on yes. how you should be when yeah. you're that age. Yeah. So if you can hear me speaking, or he or she can hear me speaking the right things now, and mm. I think is the right things now, yeah. and maybe moves out, and amongst my friends as well, mm. then I think that that's where we can build up future for the yeah. Yeah. I think you've yeah. answered me, but to a certain extent, okay. yeah, you took it outside. Okay. I wanted to bring okay, it. Okay, so what, do I, do, no. what yeah. do I do personally? What do I do personally? To make sure Uti, you are Ulins, where he's showing up emotionally. He's not boxed to this thing of, no, there must be a rock. Yeah. How do you stay emotionally healthy in your own life? How do you show up? What do you do? Do you journal? Do you listen to music? Okay, do you speak therapy. to a friend? Exactly. I go to therapy. Mm. Yeah, I go to therapy mm. uh, once a week. Oh, um, that's nice. I'm hopefully getting to the next stages of my relationship. So, um, 
we we, we want to start looking at going to therapy together as well. Oh, that's nice. Uh, to, mm. to prepare, yeah, to prepare yeah. us, to prepare us, and to prepare us for the next step that we, we want when to go I into. When I want to take, yeah. And I, I really believe in therapy. It's like going to a doctor. Exactly. Like more, yes. More, yes. Yes. We need a band aid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but for so that's internal one of the things. States. Other things. Um, also, I ask a lot of questions. That's good. That helps. I ask, yeah. but also it helps. But I'm privileged because I have a space to be to be comfortable Ooh, and safe yeah, to ask. Yeah, it's a space to you just know, I be. Have, I have sisters that can ask certain things to. Mm. If I don't know my boys are getting a bit shy, but exactly, exactly. You know, yeah. I have brothers I can ask to, and then yeah, and then I'm also, I'm also not, not shy to ask my mom. Mm. <laughs> I'm not shy. Mom's boy. <laughs> I'm not shy to ask her. I mean, she, yeah. she, if she doesn't know, then let's figure out together. Yeah. You know, yeah. But she's she 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 and my father is what I've modeled life to be like. Mm. You know, because they've modeled it for me. So yeah. I can only but ask them or anyone True. who are put in that kind of category. Yes. I think I think just mentioning that you go to therapy, being men's awareness. Mm. How that is, that it's, is it's, helping. It's, 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 it's a good thing. Exactly, it's a good that is thing. helping. I, I, I like that. I, I, I Men like. should I like not that. shy away from going <laughs> to therapy. It's not, it's not embarrassing. Think, you know, it's I think, I think for all of us, it's, it's like the same thing. If you have a bad day at work, you go to the bar store and buy a beer. If you have a bad day in the head, go to yeah. see a therapist. I think, I think for us as the black like, community, very bad it's, example. It's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but like similar, like you get the analogy, you know what I mean? If you, have, if you have an issue of something, talk to someone. Go solve it. Yeah. So if you're feeling sick or sad or disheartened do or whatever. Do something it is, about it. Do something about that. Go but yeah. go to somebody who can deal with that. Yeah. You know, just go to my friend, oh, Pilani, because. <laughs> yeah, exactly. no. yes. Firstly, I need to know I don't need that advice, mm, mm. and I need to go to someone where, or someone who can help me. If I can't afford, that's fine. I can't afford the therapist. That's I, not that's a problem. That's what I wanted to that's say. Not a, that is, yeah. that's even doesn't matter who this. Oh, that counselor. Who this, a counselor. Mm. Do you know? Oh, oh, auntie. You know, sometimes in the family, or oh, also oh, at home. <laughs> you know, and why you so? You know why you so a lot is because when you're spiritual and you're church like. You're very in your emotions and you're very spiritually uh, more aware than yes. people are not church like. Yes. You know, and I think for emotional things, there's a very close link to how you deal with things spirituality. spiritually. Yes. Yeah. You know? I feel like there's also spirituality outside of church, but okay, that's yeah, there no, is. Yes, that's yes, definitely. Yes, yes, no, 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 no. Same same chat, same chat, same chat. Mm. I'm using church because it's closer to me. Okay. Uh, but you there's really, definitely, can relate there's to definitely, it. There's definitely yeah. spirituality outside of that. Okay. There's mm. spirituality in, in knowing how to raise your body. Yeah. Um, and how to understand how your mind and how, how the to system, regulate yes, your emotions. There's also yeah. the, there's links to that. Um, it's not only it's not doing, okay. yeah, yeah. I would refer to that. That's my background. Okay. Mm. No, no, I you know. understand. Mm. I understand. I'm not leaving anybody else. <laughs> No, no, that's <laughs> yeah, that's clearly, fine. yeah. So you go to therapy. That's lovely. Any? Do you guys go to therapy? No, I want. We to. can't afford I need therapy. To. Okay. Uh, because I personally, I don't want to go to therapy, which I don't pay for, because I feel like I don't know. But because I've never, it's been. not gonna be good enough. Exactly. You feel like so that. if I pay for it, I know mm. you're gonna give me what I need. Quality. Exactly. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it and works like for that. my mind. That's, that's a that's a good point. But you know. People that go into therapy are like are like uh, kindergarten teachers. Is it? They don't do it because of the money. They do it because it's a calling. Is it? It's a calling to help. But they expect oh, you to okay. pay for it's it. It's a calling to help. I used to see a, uh, a psychologist. I now see a therapist who's, mm. um, who's way cheaper, uh, but like half the price yeah. because she's not a, a doctor psychologist, mm. but she's been working way longer than my old psychologist. So she yeah. has more experience. Yeah. So when I was referred to her, I was like, of course I want the one who has more, more experience. Head experience. With dealing with people. And then when I get there, she's like, oh, you know, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a therapist. I'm like, but you've been doing it, hit stuff a lot, right? Yeah. So you can get, she's like, of course, yeah, tell me your issues. And I'm way more comfortable with now my parents. To her. Look, I was before with my other one, but yeah. this one here just gets it because why she has more experience. Mm. You know, mm. I am not a, uh, the greatest chef because I haven't worked uh, uh, I'm in the finest restaurants or yeah. in every Michelin star restaurant, but I have a lot of experience within Africa and talking about Africa. Yeah. Yeah. So, no more I will manage air conditioner style, yes, African cuisine. I'll know more than you and I'll be more experienced than you. Yeah. Does that make sense? I know. Yes. I get yeah. it. I'm yeah. just imagining this conversation. Namachita, who leads it? We are free, which is a machit, which is a machit and hand be dear rap. It's in the direction of machit. Do you know what? 
Or they'll just market. Yes, market and oh, exactly. But you know what mockery is, though, right? You know what mockery is. Oh, is. Like, really? Mocking is nothing a sign that you're scared of. Yeah. Mm. It's like being a bully of something. Oh, we bully. Go back now. Oh, A class. Go back. Exactly. Go back. Yes. Class now. Yes. Go back. Go back. Oh, yeah. Sabo ba la payana. So let me rather just put a barrier in front of it. Just mock. Yes. I get Does that you. make sense? Yeah. But majority of people I hang with, even the guys who are, have not done therapy, it's more of like a sure, quiet, quiet. How do you? <laughs> so who's gonna ask the first question? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And like it's normal questions. Like I haven't been doing it for a very long time. Mm. I'm not like the therapy king mm. yet. Like, mm. but since I start, since I had a plan and uh, since I had an issue to deal with, yeah. um, which for me was grief. Ooh, um, and yeah. I, I was just, I, I was, I was having many like stumbling blocks in between, like in life, and I, I didn't know that it was because I haven't gotten over some certain things within my grief. Yeah. I thought he could really get grieving, so grieving is a grief. Yeah. But there's sort of stumbling blocks that you hit, so you're just like, I can't get past you. I can't get past you emotionally. Yeah. And then when you speak, to somebody who has, see, my the first therapist, somebody who has been through it. But I know, I mean, I get therapy, I'm going to go to somebody else who deals with mm. the most, more mm. experienced. And then now I find myself swimming past these stumbling blocks because now I've just learned tools. Yeah. I've learned tools that when this happens, you must do this. When mm. this is going to happen, it's because of this reaction. And that's all the therapy is. It's teaching you tools of how to uh, navigate yourself through yeah, our things. True. Yeah, I think my last question is, uh, do you feel as though men have a voice? And if you mm. feel as though they do, uh, or if they do not, yeah. or well, if they do, do you think it's recognized? Mm. Uh, I think as much as that we have a voice. Mm. The whole system, the whole society, yeah, favorites, might be yeah. favorites, favorites. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. just be honest about I'm that. But <laughs> oh. I don't think that men have 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 had or have an emotional voice. Oh. Oh, Remember true. going back to that corner we spoke about yeah. earlier on. You can't have a voice if you, if you, if you believe that you belong in the corner exactly. with your feelings. Yes. You know, so yeah. I think that we, we, men have always been striving. We still more highly paid than women, different jobs, and then all those, all those things. But all those, in, benefits, all those benefits by virtue of being a man. Yes, totally else. get you. Yeah. But emotionally, I think we we, we we do bear the brand of the voice part of it. Mm. The voice part of it. Mm. Um, we're victims of the, the same society that promotes us in patriarchy. It's the same one that... So the one that puts you in the corner and says, uh, exactly. be with your emotions there, mm. is the same one now that you're asking me you. that can't allow me exactly. to speak about my emotions. Mm. If I do that, I go down and into it. Oh, yeah. it's ting ting. Mm. Yeah. Like, ah. And who wants to be a ting ting? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. See your yo yo. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> No, I get you. I get you. Can we cheers to our conversation? Cheers. Yeah, that was a lovely conversation. Emotional Ooh. health, men's awareness. awareness. Month. Okay, let me drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Men's awareness month, emotional health, emotional stability. That was our conversation today, but we had so much more, so much more to offer. We ate. It was fun. Thank you. Thank you. We made a, a magical vibe. meal sandwich, huh? <laughs> You chop the onions. Exactly. <laughs> and I don't know what I care. He's making fun of me. <laughs> what did I do? I scooped out the avocado. You made guacamole. I didn't make the guacamole. I just scooped out the things and <laughs> no, she did. No, she did. did the rest. No, no, why are you doing it to me? Because you did it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today on our amazing episode with Chef Lenswe Pengu. Don't forget to engage us down in the comment section. Drop your comments. We'd like to engage with you. Ask questions. Be alive. As I always tell you guys, don't just sit there and like the videos. Show some life. This was winding down conversations through, through the, the grapevine. grapevine. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers guys. Oh, you were such a lovely guest. <laughs> Thank you for having we me. We love you so much. Thank, Thank you. So much.